Samsung foldable displays and 4K technology coming soon to a Galaxy near you. Leaks of Android 4.4 KitKat being tested on the Moto X begin to surface, and Microsoft's list of possible CEO successors emerges. I'm Jaime Rivera, and don't worry, my name will be on that Microsoft list very soon, or at least I hope. This is Pocket Now Daily. Let's start off with some official news as those of you interested in getting Microsoft's first Windows Phone tablet, which would be the Nokia Lumia 1520, well, you can get it on AT&T as soon as November 15th for $200 after a two-year contract, somewhere around $539 if you want to get that phone unlocked. And this is pretty much the most powerful Windows Phone ever, aside from the biggest one as well, so there are a lot of cool things to expect from this device. Let's see how it goes. Now let's talk about Samsung as the company has pretty much showed us their technology roadmap for the next coming years, which is kind of interesting that they're sharing that already. And we are getting 64-bit custom-made CPUs for their future Galaxy phones next year. That was an expected one. But even more interesting is the fact that the company is working on display technologies to bring 4K, which is great, and also foldable displays, uh, which I am really trying to understand. If you get a foldable display, does that really mean that you have a foldable phone? which would be great. I mean, think about a tablet that is foldable to become a smartphone. If that's ever going to happen anyways. Now let's talk about Apple. For those of you worried on trying to get an iPhone 5S after so many shortages, well, it seems that the company's already working on getting more suppliers. And we know Foxconn, we know Han Hai, but apparently the company has just hired Taiwanese company Wistron to be in charge of the iPhone 5C in order for Han Hai and for Foxconn to focus on the 5S. So this should increase production capacity soon, or at least expect it for the holiday season. So stay tuned for that. Let's hope they sell more phones as well. And if you're wondering who is the next Microsoft CEO, sadly, I haven't been called yet, but so far the list narrows down to three people. Steven Eloff from Nokia, which you already know and is probably one of the biggest candidates. Then we have Alan Mulally from Ford, who has confirmed for the second time that he's not interested, but is on the list somehow. And then we've got Tony Bates from Skype. So interesting, we've got three ex-CEOs that are apparently or silently or just being considered for the job or applying for it. We don't really don't know how things are gonna happen here, but. Hopefully they will find a CEO before the year ends as Microsoft is desperate for a turnaround. And finally for the hot news of the day, Android 4.4 KitKat is leaked as being tested on a non-Nexus device for the first time. This time being the Moto X from T-Mobile, so yes, carriers and OEMs are having some fun with it already. Even though it's easier for Motorola for reasons that are definitely obvious, but still, since Android 4.4 KitKat was designed to run on lower-end hardware better than previous versions of Android, that leads us to the question of the day. How much would you be willing to pay to get 4.4 on your current device? Because in my particular case, if they told me that if I pay $50 to get that on my old Galaxy Nexus, I would definitely pay for it. The Galaxy Nexus was a great phone. So leave us a comment down below. Would you be willing to pay to get 4.4 on your current uh, previous generation device? And friends, you know the drill. If you want to get the news earlier before this video is filmed, make sure you follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thank you very much for watching. We will see you tomorrow.